In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what I call the transparency echo technique. And the idea is that you have a main image and that you echo it and then you make it somewhat transparent. It's a great technique to use um, to create a visual richness to your screens, to your slides, your e-learning courses. Um, without having to spend a lot of time. Where it works really well is uh, one is you may have too much white space so you want to kind of fill it up but you don't want to get in this trap of just putting a bunch of decorative images. So you want to fill it up with something. Uh, so you want to have some sort of design to it uh, but you want it to also be contextual. So this is a nice way to keep that context. The other thing is it allows you to bracket the eye. So for example in this case um, this, this right here kind of blocks the eye and so it forces your eye back uh, to the main content. So the way the technique generally works is you have a main object and then you've echoed it and made it somewhat transparent. So in this case we're using a character. Uh, here we're using some objects. Uh, here we're using the same character but two different iterations or two different versions of the character. Another thing you could do is flip the image if you want it to look a little bit different. And then here's an example where we're using an illustration. So it's really easy to use. It does look nice. Works great for start screens or menu screens. So let's go ahead and practice doing this. So I've got my main image here. So I've got this guy. And I'm going to scale this out a little. And what we'll do is we'll uh, make these slides a little bit bigger so we can kind of see what it would look like. So we've got our guy image here. We're going to duplicate it. So that's the first thing we want to do. I want to make sure he's up front. So let's go ahead and bring him to the front. And now what we want to do is scale this. So I might actually move this off screen first. And I'm going to scale it up. So now there's no right or wrong. The best thing is probably make it as in your face as possible. So you may do something like this where you just are using the suit image, right? And then you can bring uh, the guy over that and then you know we'd scale him up as well. And then you just have to work around the transparency. The other thing is you could maybe do it this way. Now one of the things you'll notice is uh, the shoulder and the lines, everything works the same. So this is where using a, a rotation or flipping on the image works too. And um, we're going to go ahead and do that because I want to show you one way. One of the things with his face here, like I kind of like this when I was playing around with something like this. I might actually scale that a little bit more. So I kind of liked something like this, right? Um, the, what's nice is his head's tilted and the lines kind of force my eye back in. But if I use this image here, see his head's tilting this way. Uh, so it kind of forces my eye off screen. So this is where I might want to flip uh, the image. So a lot of things you can do to kind of play around with that. So I've got my main image here. And what we want to do is then I figure out how we want to do this with the transparency. Now there's a few different ways. If you're using Photoshop or one of those tools, uh, you can make the image somewhat transparent, play around with filters or whatever you want to do, and then um, save that out and insert as a PNG. If you're using uh, PowerPoint like I'm using right now or Storyline, uh, then you can use the image effects in Storyline. So a few different ways you can do the transparency. I'm going to show you, uh, we'll sh look at three different ways. So one way is, um, let's make this a little larger just so it's larger on here. So one way to do that is you can go into the picture tools and you have this recoloring option so we can just recolor it using the washout filter and that works and then you're done, right? So kind of play around with that. You've got some room for your content. So that's one way uh, to do the transparency. Uh, another technique that people like to use is just put a shape over here um, and you can see it's filled in. So let's go ahead and fill it with white to start. You might fill it with white and then you can just um, open up the properties and then you can play around with the transparency. And that gives you a nice clean slide with the um, image. Let's send this to the front with the image. And so it's kind of a nice way to do that. Now if you're working with that, in this case the white, the color probably works. Uh, you could also do a color pick. So let's do a color pick. I'm going to do a color pick from his shirt. Right, So I might use the blue from his shirt so it looks really nice. It blends in well. And then I'm going to um, play with uh, the, the 
the transparency a little bit. If you're going to do that with the transparency, I kind of think the color and and that interferes. So what I might do is go into the format and actually turn the color off. So I might use the uh, black and white on there. And so it's a little bit more subtle. Um, and then I come back to the transparency. I can kind of play around and boost it up a little bit. But not having the color in there, it's a little bit more subtle when you're working with it. And again, like I said, you can play around with layouts. It really doesn't matter. I think this looks fine. Uh, you could, you know, just go whole suit. You know, it's a lot of a lot of ways uh, that you can you can play around with that. Um, the other thing you might want to think about is make sure you're using a really high quality image. So when you um, publish it. It's not pixelated, so you want to use a good high quality image uh, when you're doing the scaling. So a lot of neat things you can do with that. Uh, color picking, you know, I kind of I kind of like color picking from from the main image, and you can play around with it. I kind of like the color from his suit because he kind of blends in, and then we do this somewhat transparent thing. And you know, you put text on there. Let's let's zoom out, and we put some text on here and. Let's call this title, right? And it can make a really nice, strong, you know, nice, strong, bold text. Maybe we're going to use that. We'll just use this here. And again, we can do a color pick from his tie. Maybe pull a light color from his tie here. Uh, let's, well, let's use that. And um, so it works works really well, right? So you can see, looks looks really nice. So it's a nice technique. It's easy to do, and you get a visual richness without spending a lot of time.